Urias is one of the most imposing and dangerous enemies that Ethan Winters will encounter during the events of the game Resident Evil 8 Village. A towering brute of a man clad in long bristly fur, Urias' standing amongst the other lichen of the village is without parallel. As even before his transformation into this warhammer wielding abomination, Urias ruled over the people of the village as their chief. A position that was no doubt heavily morally compromised by the true figurehead of the village, Mother Miranda. So, to start off, we know very little about Urias and his life in the village before his involvement with Ethan Winters, the intricacies of his involvement in the region, and his relationship to Mother Miranda, almost an entire mystery. Save for a small detail that we know about his former standing in the region before his transformation. Before Urias became the oversized lichen that Ethan comes to know, he held the reviled position as chief of the village. And while this doesn't exactly tell us much about the man before the beast, there are some things that can be surmised about based on the state of the area when Ethan arrives. Like most of the followers of Mother Miranda, it's likely that Urias was a devout follower of the village's black god. However, unlike the majority of the villagers who seemed unaware of the true goings-on of the region behind the scenes, it's likely that Urias knew, or perhaps even had a hand, in aiding with Miranda's true objectives. Perhaps covering up the fates of those who were taken as sacrifices to the Dimitres castle, or quelling suspicion of where so many of the townsfolk went when they were taken as part of Miranda's experiments. Whatever the case of his involvement, however, it seems likely that his position of village chief was passed down through his family tree, his bloodline being one of great significance to Miranda's religion, not quite as prestigious as her children, the Four Lords, but entrusted enough to make Urias the leader of her Lycan army, and to make his older, stronger brother, Urias Strager, the last line of defense to guard her coveted Megamycete. Guarding the Megamycete, huh? Urias' role in the village is arguably one of the most important, and the one that we know the least about. His bloodline was obviously quite powerful, giving both he and his brother strength and abilities beyond that of any typical lichen. It's also exceedingly likely that he and his family kept the true will of Miranda a secret for generations, helping to keep the villagers in check while also providing their mother with ample guinea pigs to be used as pawns for whatever she or her lords required. Urias is a truly dangerous foe, a true servant of the ruler of the land, Mother Miranda. And while Ethan may only ever get to know the silent beast that towers above his subjects, it's likely that he betrayed them long ago with a now muted silver tongue. Ah! 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 